A memorial to a unique war hero has been unveiled to honour a man whose remarkable exploits inspired a scene in the recent blockbuster movie Dunkirk. Spitfire pilot Sergeant Jack Potter helped to rescue 200 service personnel from HMS Basilisk during the Dunkirk evacuation of 1940. His Spitfire was shot down and he was forced to ditch into the sea 15 miles from the English coast, the only pilot to survive such an event. After the war, Potter moved to Brighton to raise his family and remained in the town until his death. Well, today, the commemoration on the banks of the River Mersey was witnessed by relatives who travelled up from Brighton after this programme helped to trace them. Juliet Parkin reports. In life, Jack Potter was a humble man who rarely spoke of his wartime deeds. But now, on the banks of the Mersey, a memorial has been unveiled in his honour on a riverfront walk which now bears his name. He would be bemused because, you know, he was just an ordinary bloke who fought and lots of people were just like him, didn't get any rewards, didn't die, fortunately for me. Um, but I imagine he would be immensely gratified and proud. Jack Potter was the only Spitfire pilot to successfully ditch during the Dunkirk evacuation. His real-life heroics part of the inspiration for last summer's blockbuster. It brings me an immense sense of pride and I've got a, a child myself now and I'm, I'm looking forward to the future and I can tell him the story of what his great-grandfather did and bring him up here and show it to him and say, this is part of your family, this is your history. The movie, though, only tells part of Jack's extraordinary story. He went on to commandeer a fishing boat and help with the rescue of 200 troops from a stricken ship before returning to the cockpit for the Battle of Britain and ditching in the channel again. Just uh, an amazing story and uh, we're just, you know, delighted that uh, we can do on the Wirral, we can, uh, you know, sort of uh, commemorate uh, such an exceptional person. The BEF is grateful to the Royal Air Force. Almost always outnumbered, still they claw them down. After his wartime feats, Jack went on to raise his family in Brighton before his death in the 70s. A once forgotten hero, now given a permanent place in history. Juliet Parkin, BBC South East Today. That's an amazing story, isn't it? Wonderful, yeah. yeah.